Hey there folks, welcome back for an OU battle against Raichu0123. We just had a, my first RU battle of Gen 6 and it was a body bag, plain and simple. I did, he did not even get one KO against me and so he said, how about OU? And I said, sure. Uh, looking at his team, I think it's very strange that he has both a Charizard and a Venusaur. Obviously only one of them is Mega. My guess is it's Mega Charizard. It's possible that he both carry the Mega Stone and just, you know, he, he decides which one goes to Mega Evolve based on the situation. Um, and that's actually not a bad strategy, uh, especially considering uh, Mega Stones make you impervious to knockoff. But, I don't know. Anyway, uh, looking at the rest of his team, uh, you know, uh, Excadrill, huge threat, Dragonite, I've never found it to be a particularly big threat, but I guess people really love weakness policy Dragonite. Azumarill, I've got counters up and down for it, and Gengar should be interesting. Anyway, I lead off with Terrakion instead of Rotom Washes, which is my usual lead, because I really wanted to set up rocks. Um, now you might think, why would you set up rocks when he's got an Excadrill? Uh, number one, I didn't put together that he had the Excadrill, and I thought it would be really nice to um, break multi-scale and to have for, uh, for uh, Charizard to take 50%. But, uh, I didn't actually, I decided what the hell, let's just go for it, and then he has to waste a turn spinning if he's going to waste a turn. Uh, Gengar running Giga Drain, kind of interesting. I go out into Titan Arum thinking that he probably doesn't have both Giga Drain and Psychic. I think they can run Psychic. But anyway, I figure Titan Arum should be a safe, uh, switch. I go ahead and go for the Sleep Powder on this next turn. I know that he could set out his own Venusaur, but my Venusaur versus his, I'm betting on mine because... I am thinking that uh, his is not going to Mega Evolve. So I go ahead and Mega Evolve on the switch turn, and that's fine. Um, and he is going to, and Sleep Powder is going to be a wasted turn. So that's fine. Uh, that's what I was expecting. I go for the Sludge Bomb, my outspeed, especially after the Mega, uh, and he goes ahead and Sludge Bombs right back. And it turns out we're doing about the same amount of damage. Uh, I took, he took a little bit of extra uh, with the self rock damage, so I'm not quite able to 2 KO. I'm not sure what the deal with Leech Seed was. I think he thought I was going to switch out into someone else, but uh, now he's like, well, I, now I've got to switch out because I can't even synthesis. Uh, so he goes out into his extra drill thinking that he can, um, it's going well, to be another wasted turn because I'll just go for another uh, Sludge Bomb, but I, I decided I was going to try to get the KO with a Giga Drain at that range of health. So that's awesome. I popped his air balloon. Not that I actually have anyone. I think I have one Pokemon that has. I think Terrakion has Earthquake. Um, but yeah, he's just going to go ahead and Rapid Spin. But that's excellent in that he's had to waste a turn to do that. And I can just go for another Giga Drain, get back up almost to full health uh, without even needing to use Synthesis. And it doesn't quite take him out. I was really hoping it would. Uh, but oh well. So he's going to withdraw just in case. Well, actually, at that range of health, if I set my rocks back up, there's a chance he'd die. I can't actually see his HP, so I don't know. I actually go for the Sleep Powder here, thinking he might switch. And if not, I'll just, you know. It's not a big deal. Uh, so I actually get his Charizard, which is awesome. I don't know whether this is Mega Charizard X or Mega Charizard Y. Um, I'm hoping it's not X because I... Well, actually, my team has counters for both. Uh, so I got into Tachikoma um, just to, because... Actually, it's not really that good of a switch no matter what, but it turns out that he's a Mega Charizard Y, and so as long as he doesn't wake up first turn and go for the Solar Beam, it should be okay. Um, Terrakion is my best bet for dealing with this guy, but Terrakion is down to such little health, and it is a Life Orb Terrakion, so I don't want it to KO itself. So I've got I've got a few other options that I can use if I need to. He actually decides to want, uh, just go ahead and right off the bat switch. Goes now out into Gengar, which is nice. I'm thinking that this Gengar is probably uh, Focus Sash based on the fact that he led with it, uh, and the fact that he has Giga Drain, so that helps with hazards and getting back up to full. I don't actually know. I go now out into Stravinsky, and this is why I love this Pokemon, this is why I put it on this team, because Gale Wind's Brave Bird will take out any fast, frail Pokemon uh, that doesn't also have priority. Uh, and so Gengar is down, so that's awesome. And don't have to worry about it anymore, and I get the first KO of the match. So I'm very, very happy. Uh, and this is this this time things are going exactly as I was hoping they would. Stravinsky took so little uh, recoil damage. I'm actually rather surprised, but it is pretty frail. So I could brave bird this thing as well, but I don't want to screw around with it. So I'm just going to go out into back out into Titan Arrow, my Mega Venusaur, because it will wall this thing for days. Even if it has Ice Punch, um, thick fat means that it's not even super effective, and it's non-stab. So you'd actually be better off going for a play rough. I. Think. No, he wouldn't because Play Rough is resisted thanks to the poison typing. So yeah, complete wall for this guy. He goes for the power-up punch, but he's not gonna he's just gonna waste that power-up punch. Goes out into Venusaur as Death Fodder. 
Um, I went for the Sludge Bomb because I was like, I'm already at basically full health, there's no reason to... I should go for the move that has the higher base power. So I take out Mega Venusaur, and that is freaking awesome. Uh, the sunlight fades here, uh, and he goes out into his Dragonite. And so I'm thinking, well, I can't put it to sleep. Uh, I could Sludge Bomb it, but it's not going to do very much damage. And he could be carrying... I, I, I Actually, I could have walled him, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I just didn't want him setting up Dragon Dances, that was the deal. So he goes ahead and Thunder Waves, and Thunder Waves my Cleric, and so I'm like, eh, it's not a big deal, I'll just heal Bella and slow anyway. Goes for the Surf here, and I was like, why would you go for Surf? Uh, and he tells me, well, he, he probably he can't use a Dragon-type move, and he tells me later, he's like, I thought you were physically defensive, and I'm like, I am, but it's still a Sylveon, Sylveon's got a lot of special bulk. Uh, so he has the weakness policy, and I'm like, I still don't have anything to fear because that Surf did so little, and it's, the way he's playing, it seems like Surf is his best bet in terms of an attacking move. So he goes for another Surf, and like, that's fine, I can take those pretty much all day, uh, and I get fully paralyzed. And I'm like, ugh, goddamn paralysis! This happened in my last battle too! I was in a, you know, that battle could have gone a lot differently if I hadn't gotten fully paralyzed four freaking times in a row. Uh, well, it wasn't in a row, but it was consecutive with the only Pokemon that I had that was paralyzed. So I get fully paralyzed twice, one in 16 chance, and now I have to switch out, because uh, otherwise Bo is dead. Uh, now, you could argue, well, maybe you don't need Bo, but as I'd still rather not lose it if I don't have to. So I go ahead and protect just to get a little bit of health back. He goes ahead and surfs. Um, I think I need to be at around... I, I think I need to be like at around 100 HP to survive a surf. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and withdraw here. Uh, I'm going to go out into my Rotom Wash, because I'm predicting the additional surf. And uh, indeed, he does go for the additional surf, and uh, that's fine. And then I think to myself... You know, he's got the plus two Draco Meteor. I, even though I'm specially defensive, I don't know that I can take, or that, rather that I want to take, a plus two Draco Meteor. If I've got to lose someone, it really should be my Sylveon, um, based on who he's got left. So I actually switch back out into Sylveon, um, which, uh, because he does go for the Draco Meteor, looks like an awesome mind play, but it was really more of a matter of, well, you know, if I've got to lose someone, it's got to be Bo. Uh, so here I'm going to protect again, as he actually decides, ah, screw it, he's, he's in my head too much, I've got to switch out. So he decides to switch out, uh, actually into Charizard, as I just go for the Protect, and I'm thinking, actually, at that range, I might have been able to take a plus two. So, um, yeah, now, so Protect fails, whatever, it doesn't matter, but uh, he's wasted his Weakness Policy. Weakness Policy is a one-use item, so any hopes he had of sweeping with Dragonite are now over. Uh, so I go ahead and switch out here. Um, I'm going to go out into Tachikoma, hope he doesn't wake up and go for the Solar Beam. Um, but, frankly, the odds of him going for Solar Beam on the blind switch... Well, if he woke up anyway, he'd still outspeed char uh, my uh, Tachikoma. I think I might be able to take a Solar Beam, considering it's non-stab and I'm specially defensive. I'll put up in the annotations whether that's true. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna, just going to go ahead and Volt Switch out. Super effective damage. In the sun, it'll do more than, um, than hyper, uh, uh, Hydro Pump. Um, anyway, he switches out into his Excadrill, and I'm like, well, he doesn't have Mold Breaker, so this actually is not a good idea for him. He goes for the Earthquake, and, again, you don't have Mold Breaker. And, it's like, and he said, oh, I forgot I didn't have Mold Breaker. It's like, okay. Um, and I offered him a Mold Breaker Excadrill if he wants it, uh, because I have one, and I don't mind giving him away uh, to people who clearly need it. Um, so I go ahead and take him out with a, a Hydro Pump. The Hacks Gods do not decide to screw me over with a Mist Attack at that point, and that's nice. Uh, now out is going to be Dragonite. Uh, I could take it out. I could actually probably take it out. Well, not in the sun. I was going to say I could take it out with a Hydro Pump. But I decided to go for the Volt Switch. The reason that Hydro Pump might have been a better idea is because, based on the two Pokemon he has left, uh, Tachikoma is actually the better Pokemon to have out in that position. Uh, but this way I have to switch out into someone. So I decide how I want to handle this, and I go out into Bo, thinking that, that at the very least Bo will get a little bit of health back thanks to the end of turn... Um, Lefo, uh, leftovers. So yeah, Bo's going to be back up to almost full, not quite full. Actually, it looks like exactly full. Uh, I didn't mean full, I meant half. Exactly half. Um, so I'm going to switch Bo out here, and based on who he had left, so uh, I go out now into Titan Aram, who, as I said, walls this thing for eternity. So he, the best he can do is go for the waterfall. I think the sunlight just faded, uh, so at least it's not hampered by that. 
and I have choices of what I can do. It starts with Life Orb set, uh, I think I knew that before. I go for the Sludge Bomb, uh, just in case he wanted to send out Charizard, and I take out his Azumarill, and now he's down to his last Pokemon, who, which is a sweeping, sleeping, sweeping, haha, <laughs> sleeping Charizard Y. He's gonna get the sun back up. Uh, and I actually consider doing some, uh, I actually consider doing some, um, synthesis stalling, because synthesis will recover, I think, three quarters. But I decide not to screw around with it. I just go for the Sludge Bomb, and now I decide, well, you know, I could presumably play smart and not lose a single Pokemon this match, but what the hell, let's just sacrifice Titan Arm, get the free switch into someone else, and um, that's fine. It's still a body bag if I lose one. So I lose my um, Mega Venusaur, but it was more of a sacrifice than like an actual legitimate like loss. So I go ahead and Brave Bird here, priority Brave Bird. I actually think I outspeed anyway based on the speed EVs that I have. And I take out his Charizard and that is the end of the match and it is a 5-0 uh, body bag. Uh, still great game, right? Two zero one two three. I was just happy to uh, use this team to the way that I kind of envisioned using it. So, folks, I hope you enjoyed this battle. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, and take it easy.